Hey guys, welcome back to the Stronghold YouTube channel. For this video, we are going to do some troubleshooting on a well pressure tank or bladder. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and here we are. So, fun. Uh, this one is a well X troll, but they all work the same way. Uh, so, first to know the basic functioning of this thing is there's a bladder inside there think of it like a balloon that fills up with water this tank also has air pressure in it and the air pressure puts pressure on that bladder that it kind of regulates your water pressure it makes it so your pump doesn't run as much prolongs the life of the pump and it makes it so that not every time you turn on water your pump has to turn on also you know the tank is holding that pressure so for my problem here is we have the gauge and mine's a 4060 so when the water pressure gets down to 40 it kicks on and goes to 60 so mine would go up to 60 and then immediately drop to 50 and then slowly drop without any water or anything being used your gauge might like flutter a little bit, it could do all sorts of different things but we come to the point where now we have to troubleshoot this thing so the first thing you have to do is turn off the power a lot of people will have like a switch normal switch somewhere around here I don't so I had to turn it off at the circuit breaker and then we need to drain the tank again a lot of people down at the bottom here are going to have a spigot just like you have outside and you can hook a hose up to it remember your power's off hook a hose up to it, drain it to a sump pit, drain it outside, whatever you want to do. You need to drain the tank till it is absolutely empty. Again, since I don't have that, I just went to a sink, opened or turned on the faucet, and you just let it run until it stops. So then you have no more water pressure at all. Now what we're trying to find out is if the bladder is ruptured, because that makes the tank no good. Now, if the, if the bladder is ruptured, that means you have water in the tank itself outside of the bladder. So one test you can do is shake your tank after you've drained it because in theory you have taken all the water out. You don't want to hear water like that. That's not a good sign. So I could probably stop right here, but we'll go ahead. So at the top you have a Schrader valve just like what you have on your car. Now, the pressure on that should be 2 PSI less than the PSI of when your pump turns on. So go into this gauge. I told you my pump turns on when it's at 40, so my tank should be 38. You could also have like a 3050 gauge, so it comes on at 30, so then you would want 28, okay? Two less. So you can just use a any kind of pressure because you could use the same thing you check your tires with so we're going to check that now got my pressure gauge now if water comes out of here that's also a bad sign because remember the water is supposed to be in the bladder not loose in the tank so if water comes out bad and we want this to read about 38 actually let me rephrase this just a little bit for checking to see if water comes out to see if the bladder is ruptured or leaking, you can use a screwdriver or your gauge, whatever you have, before you drain the water while there's still pressure in the system and if water comes out. But you cannot check your actual pressure with it, with it full. If you want to actually check that 38 PSI if you're at a 4060 like mine, then you have to drain out all the water and everything before you mess with refilling the air or checking that pressure or anything like that. But you can hit the Schrader valve to see if water comes out if it's ruptured. Looks like the PSI wasn't even enough to turn on the stinking gauge. We're going to put a little bit in it. You don't have to go all the way up to the top, uh, your 38 or whatever you're going to be at. You can put like 20 or 25 pounds in and then we're going to want to wait 5 minutes, 10 minutes, see if it's bleeding off or if it's holding its pressure. actually forcing the water that was still in the pipes through the open faucet. Again, an intact bladder, that air shouldn't have even come in contact. Shouldn't have. Should have been separated. 
So if you drain the water and you give it the little shimmy shimmy shake and you don't hear any loose water in there and if you go to the Schrader valve and check your pressure and no water comes out of there and even if it's low you add pressure to whatever you need it to mine would have been 38 if it holds that pressure you're not getting water leaking anywhere it's very likely your pressure tank's still good and if you're having a problem it's somewhere else but for me it's new tank time and you know really it's not that bad because as far as I've seen they all have the same inlet at least the ones that I've seen so you shouldn't have to mess with any of your plumbing really just disconnecting the old getting it out bringing it in the new now here's the thing I'm gonna keep pumping this in there pumping air from the the Milwaukee here until that faucet stops spitting water over there once it stops I'm gonna close it I'm gonna pump this thing back full of air because I'd like to get the same tank that I have because it's actually a pretty decent brand and it can't get here till Friday and I gotta have water before Friday so we're gonna hope that it holds the pressure well enough that the well pump is not just constantly turning on and off all day long because we don't have to we don't want to have to replace that we're going to keep pumping until that stops doing that no more water coming out we close it set our pressure to 38 you see we're climbing it's holding pressure take a minute and we'll get to 38 made it up to 38 well that thing's kind of warm didn't like that too much made it up to 38 now we're going to turn the power back on and keep an eye on the gauge and hopefully it's steady and this can hold us over for a couple of days until we can get a new tank here well it's not at 60 but before you can actually sit and just watch the needle fading back give it a minute or two and we'll take another look at it it's been six minutes it's Definitely dropping some, but not nearly as bad as it was before. This will be fine for a couple of days, and I'll just turn off the damn well when I know I'm not going to be using it. So thanks for watching. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and we'll probably be doing a video on changing this tank shortly.